Sri Lanka to decriminalize homosexuality. Whoop, whoop. Okay. On February 9th, the Sri Lankan government announced that it would support efforts to decriminalize homosexuality in the country. The announcement came after receiving recommendations from other United Nations member states during the country's Universal Periodic Review, or UPR for short. Sri Lanka re received several seven recommendations from the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, and Norway during, during the Universal Periodic Review regarding LGBT rights. These recommendations include decriminalizing homosexuality, which is currently punishable by up to 10 years in prison in Sri Lanka's current penal code. Foreign Affairs Minister Ali Sabri said the government will support its position of decriminalizing same-sex relationships. We are, however, not legalizing same-sex marriages, but we would decriminalize it. The country's Deputy Solicitor General, uh, Nairim Pul, Pule, also pledged to amend Sri Lanka's colonial era penal code. So this is really good news because in Sri Lanka, they have two areas of the penal code that criminalizes homosexuality as essentially like a crime against nature, which is very typical for a lot of colonial era um, anti-homosexuality laws. And what's interesting is that um, previously, I believe it was Sri Lanka's Supreme Court ruled that the law was unenforceable for whatever reason. They said it's unenforceable, but it still remained on the books. And so you might say, okay, well, why is it important to still remove these laws then if the you know government has ruled that it's, uh, it's unenforceable for whatever reason? It's important to still repeal these because it reflects like a general attitude in society and it also informs people's attitudes in society, right? Like if it if it's still legitimized in the penal code as a crime, that's still informing the general public that there is something stigmatizing and deviant and degenerate and bad that is happening when two people of the same sex want to be together. That to, it's so bad to the extent that the state has an interest in getting involved and punishing people, right? That's pretty extreme. And so removing these kinds of laws can really do a big difference in changing people's attitudes. So congratulations, Sri Lanka. Good job. Amazing. Um, <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. See, we needed that. Things are some places, some places things are moving in the right direction. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.